video we are going to solve question number second of exercise 7.1 and the question says find the distance between the point 0 0 and 36 15 can you now find the distance between the two towns a and b discussed in section 7.2 so in the first part you have to find the distance between this point and this point I'm assuming that you know how to locate this point or this point on a Cartesian plane. Means if I given, if you are given that this is x axis and this is y axis and this is origin, so you must know how to locate this point. So 0, 0 will be the origin. So coordinate of this will be 0 and 0. We know that from origin, right hand side are plus numbers means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all positive numbers. On the left hand side, there are negative numbers. So it is 1, 2 and 3. And on the left hand side, there are minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. They are till positive infinity and these are till negative infinity. And from origin, if we move upward, again the number will be positive till plus infinity. And if we move downward, again the number will be negative till negative infinity. So, if I have to locate this point, it should be this origin 0, 0. And now, if I have to locate this point 36 and 15, so we know that our first point is x and our second point is y. So if I have to locate 36, so I have to search 36, positive 36 on this x axis and the point will be somewhere here. Let's say the point is here. That means this point is 60, 36 units away from y axis and now I have to search 15 on y axis so plus 15 will be somewhere here so if I have to locate that point so this point will be 36 and 15 this point is 36 away from y axis and 15 away from x axis so this should be the second point so this is how you can locate two points or points on a Cartesian plane. This is known as Cartesian plane. This is x-axis. This is y-axis. Axis, x-axis is also known as abscissa and y-axis is known as coordinate and we have to find the distance between these two points. Consider this point as A and this point as B. And if I consider the coordinate of this point as x1, y1 and consider coordinate of this point as x2, y2 to find the distance between any two points we have a formula which says x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Now I have to substitute the values. Our x2 is 36 and our x1 is 0. And our, our y2 is 15 and our y1 is again 0. So for the solving this, 36 minus 0 is 36, so it should be 36 square and 15 square is, now I have to find out the square of 36, so 36 multiplied by 36, so it should be 6, 9, 2, 1, so it should be 1, 2, 9, 6 and plus Square of 15 is 225. I have already told you in my previous videos if you want to find the square of 15 that is at the last the unit digit is 5. So whenever you have to find the square of numbers having unit digit as 5 what you have to do is you have to square this number and what you have to do, you have to multiply this number with the next natural number. So here it is 1. So the next natural number to this 1 will be 2. 
So one multiplied by two will be two. So the square of fifteen will be two twenty-five. Similarly, if you want to find the square of twenty-five, again at the unit digit is five. So if you want to find the square of this number, so square of five will be twenty-five. And you have to multiply this with the next natural number. So the next natural number, or so you can say the next number to two is three. So you have to multiply two with three. So it is six. So the square of twenty-five is six twenty-five. So this is how you can find out. Again, you can find out the square of thirty-six by shortcut. Right now, the uh, you can multiply these directly, but uh, I'll you uh, I'll tell you later that how you can find out the square orally without actually multiplying them. Okay, uh, for that you can see our uh, videos on fundamental. Uh, there we have discussed how to find out the square, or uh, you can see the videos on basic maths. There we have discussed these all. Okay, now we have to add these. Six plus five is eleven. Two one five. So under root one five two one. Now what I have to do? I have to find the under root of this value. Uh, the number is bigger, so it is better to find out the under root using division method instead of factorization method. So it is three three nine. So it is six twenty one. Adding three, it is six. And if I multiply this with nine, so nine nine is a eighty one eight. Six nine is a fifty four plus eight is sixty two. So it is thirty nine. So here, the distance between these two points must be thirty nine units. Now, in the second part, you have to find the distance between the two towns. Discuss in section seven point two, and in section seven point two, it is given that uh, a town B is located thirty six kilometer east and fifteen kilometer north to a town A. Okay, so now consider that town A at this origin. So there is a town A here at the origin, and it is given that. A town B is located 36 km east. So obviously, if you look at the map, so right hand side is east, this is west, this is north, and this is south. Okay. So from here, we have we said that the town is 36 km east. So it should be in this direction. And it is given that it is 15 kilometer north of this town, and it is 15 kilometer north. So this will be the point where town B is located. This town B is 36 kilometer east and 15 kilometer north. So town B will be at this point. Now, if you want to find the distance between this point. And this point, or you can say, if you want to find the distance between town A and town B, again, what you have to do, you have to use the same formula because the uh, coordinates are same for both the cases, and you can say that the distance between A and B will be 39 kilometers. So this is how you can solve. This particular question. I hope you have understood this one. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact to us. Our phone number, email address, and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.